Gel permeation chromatography, or GPC, is a separation method used to estimate the molecular weight distribution of polymers. The GPC has three main components. First, the pump is used to push the polymer solution and solvent, THF or tetrahydrofuran, into the machine. The second component, the columns, is used to separate the polymers depending on their molecular weight as they are pushed through the instrument. Porous beads, typically either polystyrene or glass, are usually used to separate the polymers within the columns, causing larger polymer molecules to flow through quicker. Smaller polymer molecules are caught up in the beads and diffuse more slowly. Finally, the UV detector is used to measure what and how many particles are diffused at a certain time, creating the distribution graph in the software. The UV detector observes the UV absorption of the polymer, which is proportional to the polymer concentration. Other detectors, such as differential refractive index and light scattering detectors, can be used. To analyze your polymer sample, first dissolve the polymer with THF. Once dissolved, pull the solution into a syringe, then filter the solution to get rid of any particles that may clog the columns. Once filtered, use a 25 micrometer syringe to draw up 20 micrometers of the solution. Pump the syringe several times to eliminate any air bubbles. Next, put the syringe into the injection point. Click on the injection button in the top left corner in the software and enter in all parameters, including the name of your sample. Click on the injection button in the software and wait for instructions. Once the instructions appear, slowly depress the syringe to inject the sample. Then turn the knob to the right and wait five seconds. After five seconds, turn the knob back to the left. Carefully remove the syringe. It will usually take 30 minutes to complete the analysis of your polymer, and a graph will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Your graph will show a peak that describes the molecular weight distribution of your polymer. By comparing the running time with the standard provided, one can determine the number and weight average molecular weight, along with the PDI or polydispersive index. Once completed, the sample will be saved within the software and can be recalled in the list provided under the Find Data button. Once your test is finished, clean the syringe by pumping pure THF through it several times. Calibration should be performed when needed. This consists of analyzing standard polystyrenes with several molecular weights.